Hello everybody, this is Alexandre from Angel Cartomancy and this is your weekly Lenormand Oracle card reading. So I want first to thank uh, everyone for their uh, wonderful messages uh, they sent me uh, at the beginning of the week. Uh, my wife has lost her, her grandmother and I've shared that with you on Facebook. And so many of you people had, you know, write and comment and PM us and showing so much support, love and, you know, and affection that we were like, you know, overwhelmed by all the love and by all the, the support that you people uh, had shown us. So we really want to thank you. We really want to say that we are grateful to have you and uh, to be part of this beautiful community uh, around, you know, the Le Normand. So thank you for that. Uh, second thing that I want to say is that uh, these weekly readings are not only, you know, free readings that I'm giving to you. It's also an opportunity for you to learn how a free card reading can be, you know, used uh, in, in a certain context. And this is not only guidance, it's also, you know, a mini lesson in itself. So for this week reading, I am using my 2018 Le Normand. It's a beautiful, colorful deck, you will see. And as I will be shuffling the cards, you just need to focus your attention on the guidance and what the cards want to tell you during the week. And also, uh, if you have a question of, you know, yes or no, you can ask it and I will read the card so that we can get an answer, okay? So I'm taking, you know, randomly uh, three cards for each pile and you just need to choose between pile one, pile two, or pile three. Okay, so everything is done before your eyes here so you can see how it works. Okay, so let's start. If you have chosen the pile one, the cards that come up for you this week is the clover, the crossroad, and the key. You see the card has this beautiful holographic shimmering, you know, mirroring rainbow kind of, you know, finish on it. So this week, uh, you're going to have some uh, decision to be made with the crossroad that there is some choices that you want, that you need to make. And um, the crossroads are pointing to the, you know, to the left and to the right, so to the clover and then to the key, showing that your choices and this decision will be, you know, nice one, okay? The first one will be like, you know, a taking a risk with the clover, it's always, you know, betting on on your luck and betting uh, on your, you know, that things will turn around uh, in a wonderful way. And with the crossroad, it, uh, with the key, sorry, it's more of a practical and handy, you know, uh, type of solution and decision, okay? So in any case, this week you're going to do the right thing, okay? Uh, sometimes it's good to take some risk, you know, and see what other opportunities and the key is you know a card that really you know tells you that you know taking risk is good also because the the key is pointing to the left so towards the crossroad and also a clover showing that you know taking risk is good 
okay so anything that you will be doing this week will be uh, successful you know things will fall uh, at the right time or at the right place with the right person and if your question was involving a yes or no the answer is yes okay is yes there is always uh, an issue there is always uh, an exit if I would say okay so it's it's very positive to start the week on this first note okay so these are for the first pile and if you choose pile number two you have the fox the whip and you have also the child okay so uh, oftentimes when you know uh, child and fox come together this is showing me that someone is acting, you know, childishly like a spoiled child, okay? So this can be someone around you who, you know, with a whip, like, you know, he is always coming around and, you know, and acting like a spoiled child, um, selfish person, and really, you know, and this is tormenting you, okay? Uh, in another thing also, if we talk about work, if the work aspect, these three cards could mean that uh, working with, you know, child abuse, okay, helping sensitive children, uh, helping, you know, uh, children who are abused, who are traumatized. So if you're thinking of, you know, doing a career uh, in that field, you know, working with children and, uh, you know, helping them to make them, you know, a better person and get out of their issues, it will be you know uh, very positive for you okay it seems like you have in you you, have, you are yourself perhaps uh, uh, someone who had you know known difficult times when you were younger and now you really want you know to help other people who are in the same situation okay uh, if you also work as um, a fitness coach like you know like uh, a gym teacher this is also also for you and perhaps you know you will be starting a new job with a child there is a new beginning coming up or it can also you know if you are wanting to start you know gymming and you know a healthy style of living uh, this is telling you, you know do your physical uh, exercises but do it bit by bit don't you know uh, go into something bigger than you are so you know train yourself the the whip is constant practice, always and always doing it. And yeah, it will be wonderful for you. Okay, so if you choose pile number three now, you have the bouquet, which is a great card to have, the tree and the fish. Okay, so um, the bouquet is all about, you know, having something to be grateful for like someone handing you flowers you're happy you smile keep the keep this picture of the bouquet when you sit in a reading it's when someone gives you something you're very happy and uh this is all about finances that they are showing me with the fish and also the the tree telling you that things will not come overnight okay and what is you know uh Amazing with that is the bouquet needs water to 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 keep its beauty and to live. The tree to bear fruits and leaves and whatever. It also has you know to get enough water, and the fish is a cart of water. Okay, so this week the cards are asking you really to nourish yourself. Okay, to take care of yourself. To be you know uh, the bouquet is also uh, expansion. It's also you know showing you gift and talent and you know be strong and steady like the tree you know oak tree showing that you are strong so it's a week perhaps to nurture yourself okay nurture yourself if you have some worries about finances know that you know it will take time but you know things are looking good uh, if it's about health you know maybe you should quit you know be sober don't drink you know don't take any any substance don't smoke you know drink more water and you know be more like you know eat more fruits uh, more you know of salads and this kind of of eating so it's really a call for you to be born you know to take 
care of your body, of your fluid, and also of your health. Okay? So this was your reading with the Lenormand Oracle cards. And if you would ha want to have a copy of the 2018 Lenormand, you can find it in the uh, in my shop on Etsy. You can find it also on angelcartomancy.com. I will leave the link in the description box below. So if you uh, if you want to purchase uh, a copy of that, and my book, The Art of Lenormand Reading, is still available for pre-orders. It is coming up you know, in more in less than one month now. And yeah, be sure to be you know the first people to pre-order because they are. I, you know, you don't want to to see it to be out of stock rapidly on Amazon. So you really want to be the first people to get the book. So go on Amazon, type my name, Alexander Strack, or type The Art of Lodoma Hitting, and you will have, you know, you will see the book, you will see the cards, so order them, share them with your friends. It, it's also a beautiful gift for the spring, you know, to 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 give, you know, to friends and family for birthdays. This makes, you know, wonderful gift. And yeah, share the passion, share the love, and share divination. See you soon.